Hello, welcome back everybody. Welcome to another video where we push Rocket League's limits. Uh, as in, we try to fuck it up as much as we possibly can and still try to play the game. Last episode, we tried to unbind all of our keys, not all of them, but as we were playing, and we would tr still try to win a game. Uh, it's pretty great. Today, however, we're going to be pushing into the next greatest thing, which is uh, our camera settings. And I think I found the camera settings of all camera settings. Uh, here you go, here's a little sneak peek. We're going to be playing Rocket League in the first person. It's uh, quite terrifying when you first log in. Uh, basically, I'm just playing off of memory, off of what I feel from my sticks, because I cannot see the fucking ball. So, with that in mind, let's just hop right into a game. I'm pretty sure this is the camera settings that Pro actually play on uh, while they're in lands and stuff like that, winning hundreds of thousands of dollars. I'm pretty sure they just secretly turn the camera settings into this. So I feel like all the uh, all the presets that they made on YouTube for their for their views and likes is just a ploy to get you like all the scrubs of Rocket League to get really bad camera settings. So they whip out this bad shit. They're winning games all the time. Like, see how easy that was? This seems to be a pretty easy game so far. Can we get a kickoff goal? Uh, I don't think so. I don't even think I hit that ball. I'm not gonna lie. When I'm going fast, it doesn't even feel like I'm, like, going fast. Like, there's no, uh... The only indication that I'm going fast is the lines when I'm going supersonic. But other than that, I don't feel anything. See how easy this is? I swear, this is what pros use, man. This is how pros get the upper hand. There's got to be some kind of benefit to having this kind of uh, camera setting here. Like, look at that. I just don't know what else to explain to you guys except for the fact that I'm winning 4-0 right now. Look at that. We almost absolutely destroyed that man's ankles. You know what? I thought I did it, I'm not gonna lie. I couldn't really see the net. I kinda knew that was gonna touch backboard, I just didn't know where the backboard was. If only this player knew how much disrespect I was actually showing him right now. By actually having the audacity to play these camera settings with him. If only he knew, because he probably just thinks I'm a bad player, just kind of chasing the ball around. But it's because I literally have to see the ball to play it. If you want to get to Grand Champion, you have to play at least 150 games with these camera settings on, or else you're not going to get good enough to be a Grand Champion. I swear to you. The 
I'm actually surprised that I can even touch buttons while playing this right now. Because I'm actually sick from playing it. I'm sure you guys are feeling the same thing watching it, but I assure you it is a thousand times worse actually playing it. I have to basically just guess where this guy is going just based off of memory and patterns that people have played me before. And it's honestly making me kind of disgusted. And I'm sure this guy isn't taking this too seriously because it's a casual game. But just the pure fact that I can even beat this guy 5-2 to two with these camera settings on, it's kind of sad. I'm not going to lie. I think this guy kind of knows that something's up, like I'm bad, and so I think he's going to ramp it up a little bit and try to get the win here. But I'm going to try my hardest here to play some insane defense. There it is, it's a power shot. It's honestly simple, and he's left. You see, boys, this is, this is what the pros don't tell you about their camera settings. Alright. This is exactly what they don't tell you. So we're going to hop out of here. I'm going to show you the camera settings so that everyone, everyone can expose the pros for this. Everything is right there. That's exactly what the pros use when they are uh, playing in land and such. So, yep, yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Goodbye.